Welcome to Maths Fly. Uh, today we're going to talk about the chain or composite role. Um, so uh, the first thing I want to emphasize is these are actually the same thing. Uh, we just tend to use different names when we've written them down in different ways. Um, so when we write it as the chain rule, uh, we tend to be using Leibniz notation. And uh, let's just see what it's saying uh, within a context that we all understand. Uh, so hopefully most of you will be familiar with stairs. Personally, I don't trust them because uh, they're always up to something. Um, but uh, if we have a look at this, one question we might ask ourselves is how quickly are we going up when we use our stairs? It's a good question to ask. Okay, so how quickly is our height or our y changing uh, with respect to time? So how quickly are we going up? Now there's going to be two main factors there. One will be how steep are the stairs, okay? Uh, and the other will be how fast are we walking, okay? So how quickly uh, are we moving across with respect to time? So this is our speed, uh, and this is how steep the stairs are, okay? We'll be familiar with dy over dx is the steepness of a graph, now the steepness of stairs. So, for example, here we might have some uh, quite... Uh, shallow stairs, and even if we walk along these quite quickly, we're not going up terribly fast. Uh, over here, we're talking about some very steep stairs, uh, and if we can maintain our speed, we'll be going um, up very quickly if we can do these. Um, we're not going to get into questions of fitness here. Uh, I really don't want to go there. Okay, so that is the idea here, is that if we multiply how steep the stairs are by how fast we're going, we're going to work out how quickly we're going up. Okay, notice we must get this cancel out idea happening here in order for this to uh, work. Okay, now, how is that the same rule as this complicated looking thing? Personally, um, there's a lot of questions I use, I straight away go to this notation, and there's other questions I go to and I straight away uh, go to this notation. Uh, I'm not gonna go into how, what those are in this video, maybe we'll have another day. Um, so here we're talking about, oh, well this is a bit confusing because normally these would be written as experts, and I've, uh, on my second take of the video, so I'd already gone through and changed those to T's. So I'm gonna go back and do that in a minute. Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? It's important to ask why. This is maths why, after all. Okay, so um, why do I wanna change these to T's? Well, basically because the X in this formula that I've lifted off the formula sheet, in my situation, isn't an X, okay? Basically what I'm thinking of is I have a, a T that's then going into GT, and that's then spitting out my X. So my time goes into a function, that can, then gives me my horizontal motion. This function over here uh, is actually defined in terms of the amount up in terms of my amount across, okay? So uh, straight away, this relationship's obvious, right? So if I put my time into this, um, the derivative of this function, we're gonna see how quickly I'm moving across. So this is clearly my speed, right? Uh, the thing that's not quite so obvious is that here, I want um, to be working out uh, the steepness of the stairs at this point in time. Now remember, these aren't necessarily stairs that are like nice well-behaved stairs where the steepness stays the same. I'm just looking at this instant because all of these could be changing. Uh, even though we need to be thinking always of rates as being how much does uh, this quantity vary uh, for one movement in uh, my input? Okay, how much is my output changing? That is... Um, we, we know we're never really talking about a whole unit there. We measure it in that way. So we talk about 80 kilometers per hour. 
but it's still that instantaneous speed. That's how far would I go if I carried on at this speed for an hour? But I'm not going to, right? I'm going to slow down, I'm going to speed up, you know, somebody's going to be in front of me, uh, something. Okay, so here, what we need to be able to do is to put an x value into this function, okay? So we use the g to turn it into our x value to tell us where we are on the steps, and then we ask how steep are the steps in that place. So that's how it relates to this. So we're still talking about the steepness of the stairs, but because we're inputting into it a time, we need to turn that time into where we are on the stairs and then ask this function uh, how steep it is in that place and then we get that. And this is obviously, um, again, we've got the time going in, then going, that's giving us an x and then that's giving us uh, our final answer. So this is the derivative of the whole thing. I hope that helps. I think it was fairly straightforward up until the last minute. Um, I'm definitely uh, keen to hear your comments below and uh, if I uh, get something that comes up, I'll probably be making another video. Okay, I hope this answers your whys for your maths and uh, have a good day.